Okay, hey students, Professor Johnson here. You are working through this orientation module and I wanted to spend a little bit of time to specifically talk about the late assignment policy. Um, it is in the, it's in the syllabus. Uh, so you, hopefully you've read the syllabus. It's in two places in the, uh, the syllabus is here and it's also a, a tab on the side. Um, but it's really important because as a faculty member, um, the request for late assignments is, 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 I'm gonna be honest, it's the most frustrating uh, part of teaching. Um, you know, uh, part of my job as a faculty member is to not just give you information for this class, but to actually get you prepared for the workplace. So fashion merchandising and fashion design are career technical education programs, which means that we provide skills that you can then go directly into the workplace and use. And in all honesty, in the workplace, if you are consistent with um, asking for extensions or not turning uh, tasks in on time, you're at jeopardy of not maintaining employment, right? So in the classroom space, even though this is a, we're gonna say this is a workspace that you're paying to be in, um, you are at, at jeopardy for um, not earning a passing grade or earning a lower grade than you could have if you had completed all the tasks in a timely manner, okay? So um, so really the best way to be successful is just that time management piece, okay? So here we go. This is what the late policy, uh, the late policy is. So discussion boards need to be completed by the due date. Your initial post is due on Tuesday uh, and replies to three of your classmates are due by Friday. And I get students that are gonna ask, Professor Johnson, can I just submit anyway? And, and in all honesty, once the discussion board closes, the discussion is over, right? So uh, any late submissions, no students from the class are gonna go back that that week and look at your old uh, your old post to reply. So once the discussion board closes, it, it is closed, okay? Um, these uh, assignments that um, that we do, depending on the class, either critical thinking assignment or a textile evaluation assignment or some type of, something with assignment behind it, right? Um, those can be submitted up to one week late, um, but they will receive an automatic um, deduction per day that they are late. So about 3% every day that they are late up into um, getting a full 20% grade deduction. So the, mo the maximum that you would then be able to get on that would, would be a C. So um, any assignments and projects that are submitted more than one week late will not be, um, will not be accepted, uh, especially that, that final project because it's, it's due a couple days before, before the semester ends. Um, any quizzes or midterms or, or finals, any tests or anything that's in the quizzes um, piece are um, also must be completed by the due date. Um, and the majority of them are auto graded, but sometimes there are ones that I have to grade, but they need to be completed by the due date. And again, if you set up your notifications and you look at your to-do list over here on the side, um, it shows you that those things are the, those things are coming up, okay? And then whatever project that we have for the class, that final project, it has to be turned in by the due date and by the due time. Um, for some of my classes, I have a peer review, and the peer review are automatic peer reviews are automatically assigned. And for those other classes, um, those projects are due just a couple days before the, the semester is over, the term is over, or the course is over. So I want to make sure I can get those uh, graded to you by the time the term ends. So. Um, I know it, it seems um, it seems harsh, but the reality is the, the reality is is that I am training you to go out into the workforce and um, and be productive and and have an understanding that you can't wait till the last minute to start and you and if you wait till the last minute to start, you may not finish in time. I understand procrastination, um, but things have to be submitted on time. They really just have to be submitted on time, okay? Um, and then on the flip side, when, when students ask for, well, you know, something happened to this person in my family, um, I, I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but but generally, I can, I can see every time you click on the page, so I can tell when you started an assignment and when, when you finished it, but I really cannot stress enough that you need to turn things in when they're due now i love y'all i i really uh you know i say that i'm a pr practitioner of the ethic of love and i understand that things happen in our life um but even when things happen in our life we still need to do the things that we are responsible for doing okay so um even when things are happening in my household with my children um, i still have to show up 
myself to show up and, and be here to grade. Um, and if it's a face-to-face -face class, show up in the space, right? So I, I need you to show up, okay? All right, uh, if you have any questions, you can hit me in the inbox, but just remember, discussion boards, once they close, they're done. Uh, you cannot post. Uh, any uh, assignment, so if it has assignment behind it, critical thinking assignment, textile evaluation assignment, those can be submitted up to uh, one week late. Uh, and all exams, uh, quizzes, anything that's in that quizzes category has to be submitted on, on time, okay? All right, see you in the next video.